James here, and today we're taking a quick look at a new product, guys. This is from KJoy. This is their LED matrix panel. Now, guys, this is 14 by 14.6 inches long by 3.6 inches wide. Now, this is a flexible LED panel with addressable RGB, guys. You can literally change colors. You can make patterns. You can write words or do use some of the preset pictures or words and designs to actually show up. Now, the cool thing is, is you guys can use this in home or you can use it in the car. This one does have a plug-in to do that. Now, it does have 2121 full RGB, guys. So let's pull this open and guys show you guys this. Now, they do have an app, guys, so the app will run this if you really need. Now, the first thing you're going to be greeted with is actually a cigarette plug, and it has dual USB 3.0 plugs, plus an indicator light, it looks like, to show you that it's working. That's kind of cool. Now, since you can use this in the car, they give you that option, right? Here is your user manual, guys. Just quick, simple, guys, to use it. Plug in. Shows you everything that comes in this, including the 3M adhesive tape, extension cord, USB cord, LED display controller, and all of that good stuff. And then it walks in here and it tells you how to install the app and all that. They do have it on Apple, iOS, and Android, guys. Just look for Cool LED 1248 and you're good to go. Then the last and at least is a big roll of 3M adhesive tape, guys, if you need that. I would love to like a suction cup style if they plan you on sticking it in your car because who wants to stick 3M adhesive to their windows? And then you have the panel right here, guys. And right here is where we're going to be careful unrolling it. Let's see if we can pop this out. This is where we're going to see all the controllers and stuff. So you have your USB plug right here, guys. Your on and off switch, which is cool that they have an on and off switch. Then enough cord to hide it throughout your car or your house. Where are we going to put it? Then you have your controller. Now this all is able to come apart right here, guys, if you want to disconnect it so you have the panel, so you can actually connect the panel. This is your panel. As you guys can see, you have the sensors and controllers down the sides, and then you have all your LEDs in the middle. So just remember what it looks like, where it goes, and how you install it. Now, what we're going to do is, is I'm going to install the app offline real quick, guys, and we're going to show you guys this in the house. Before I go put it in the car and show you what it looks like in the back window or side window of my car. So you guys give me a second. Let's, uh, let me install the app real quick and then we'll show you guys everything. Okay, now that I have the app installed, guys, you'll see it right here. Cool LED 1248. Open that up, right? It's going to pop up. It's going to show you guys this. What app or control device? Now, of course, we have to turn it on to actually do that. So as you guys will see this come on, you'll see it automatically pop up, right? Then we're going to click it and open it. Now, while I'm doing that, I'm going to show you guys. It is now powered up. You now have an LED strip powered up. And as you guys see, as it moves around, it'll change patterns right there and all that stuff. Now, to kind of show this off, guys, we have static patterns. We have uh, patterns already built in, graffiti patterns inserted into this. And I'm going to try and not drop all this stuff. But let's go over here and let's see. They have multiple patterns right here, guys, right? So you have already preset patterns, which is cool that they have a whole bunch of preset patterns. Um, let's find a really cool one. Let's grab this panda down here. If you guys, hopefully you guys can see that. There's a panda, and I checked it in a blue square. So you'll see the panda. It then updates. It takes about a couple seconds, and then you see this. Now, it is rather bright, of course. It's an LED panel. So what do I do to con try to combat that? Let's try to adjust some lighting down around here. Guys, give me one sec real quick. Hopefully I don't drop anything. So, uh, we made it a little darker in here, right? Let's give you guys a little more of a look at the panda. So, it's just still a little glary, right? No big deal. Let's grab something else. As you guys see, we're uploading. You'll see it upload. And then you guys will see it work in action, right? And there we go. It says driving. Has a little panda bouncing around over there. <laughs> kind of cool. I like that. Now we have. I I love this one. This one's really cool. If you're a gamer, you'll enjoy this one too, right? 
We have Yoshi. I know it's still super bright and glary around this. I, I totally understand, guys. It's a little bright and glary right there, right? But very cool. Now, we can do graffiti where you can actually draw out your own stuff. Now, if you have a stylist, you're going to be able to do that better. I'm going to do a text, right? Go over here to text. You just click text on the app. And we're going to make a click the top right to add a pattern. So we're going to do that. We're going to write out. So now that we wrote out Dragon Blogger, it tells me to pick and save colors. So we can edit the colors. Of course, we just want red on all. That's how we want it. We're going to click save. We're going to click check mark. Now we're uploading this. So it says Dragon, and then it shows the K for some reason, and I'm not sure why. But let's go back in, edit color, we'll add the colors, we'll save colors, plus check mark. Then we'll go to this. And now I'm going to show you guys this. You'll see that it only shows part of the word, unfortunately. It will only allow you to do a certain length. But the cool part about this is, guys, we can actually change this to scrolling pattern where it will actually roll out all of it. Which is cool. Then we can go to left or you can do right, up or down, where it'll scroll up and down. It's just, you know. Then you can do music pattern, of course, guys, if you want to do music pattern. Let's put a little music here. Now this would be cool for like in my car because I have a stereo, but there's the music pattern of it going around. Just don't drive around with it going like that, guys. Just remember, check your state laws first if you have state laws like that. Then you have settings, and it'll tell you all that cool stuff. Let's go back to this. We can actually adjust the brightness down, and that's what we really want. So let's do this. We adjusted the brightness down, guys. Just be able to see it a little better. So that's like snowfilly pattern. So again, guys, this is the KJoy LED matrix panel, guys. Now I'm gonna take this outside. I'm gonna set this up in my car window and hopefully you guys can see it through my dark tint. So if you guys give me a few, we'll change views. Okay, guys, now that we have it in the car, you guys will see this. We actually have the pattern going. We have it saying back up right now, which is very cool, very easy, very simple to work with. I'm gonna change the patterns, gonna show you guys the, the writing that I did and how it looks with the writing also. Okay, now that I just re-hit the button, now you guys can see it's actually going. It now says Dragon Blogger, of course. But nice, easy, simple to do now. We will check out one more pattern real quick. And of course, we're back to Yoshi. Yoshi trying to eat an egg, which is very cool. Guys, again, this is the LED Matrix by Cageway. Very cool, very simple, very easy. Now I'm going to show you guys kind of how I have it set up. This is not the optimal way, but this is how I have it set up. Now I'm going to open my car. You guys see, I just have it laying in the window right now. But you would 3 adhesive it to the window, of course, and you would run wires. This is not how you would do it. You'd actually have to take it and run wires under panels, connect it where you need to connect it, and run wires. Simple, easy, you know, easily to remove and stuff, guys, if you don't like the setup. Again, guys, thank you for checking out this video, and have a great one.